Hello, hello everyone. Welcome to the class. Oh, good evening. Thank you. Good evening. Welcome. How are you doing today? Good evening, Miss. <sighs> I'm tired today. Are you tired? Cada departamento. Cada departamento what? <laughs> Buenas noches. Oh my God, Ramiro, your voice sounds really strong. Yes, no, no mejor. Estoy mal todavía. Yes. Oh my God, pero ya le escucho más clara la voz. Sí, gracias a Dios me han puesto, ahorita estoy con terapia respiratoria. Ok. Y, y tenía miedo que fuera principio de, de neumonía. Así tenemos a mi abuelito nosotros, hay que cuidarse de eso. Yes, sí. eso, es, eso es muy sí. scary bueno, que se controle ¿verdad? que siga tomando ahí su medicina y que y me disculpo con todos, ahí va a disculpar no hay problema no problem at all, tranquilo Ramiro que no hay problema no puedo hablar mucho, gracias it's ok, ni se esfuerce ok, gracias. buenas noches good, good evening good night, good todavía evening. no hasta que se vaya Ok, ok. So, welcome everyone. Pero miren, de verdad agradezco y se los digo en español su esfuerzo. Yo sé que todos y todas tenemos situaciones particulares por las que estamos pasando, de enfermedad, de enfermedad de parientes, de enfermedad por ustedes que tienen hijos, tal vez situaciones con sus hijos. Cualquier situación, ¿verdad?, por la que estén pasando, ustedes hacen el esfuerzo de conectarse y eso es muy valioso. Con solo el hecho de estar acá, ¿verdad? Y se, que se nos olvide por lo menos un ratito todo eso que tenemos ahí en casa. Yes. Exacto, exacto. exacto. Eso es importante. Muchas right. gracias. Y estemos aquí en el English un ratito. Estamos pensando y demos, demos duros un rato con el inglés, ¿verdad? Por rato él nos gana, por rato nosotros. <risa> Dios mediante, va, vamos a salir adelante. Así ¿verdad? es, así es. Ok, yes. Ah. Eh, God's willing. En inglés diríamos God's willing. Que significa en español la voluntad de Dios, ¿ok? So, God's willing, we're gonna get better, ¿ok? God's willing, gracias. Willing, yes. Ok, so, let's go, uh, we're gonna continue, and I appreciate your punctuality as always, because sometimes we're not punctual, and I apologize because sometimes I am finishing the other class, and sometimes it takes me a little bit to get here to this class. But that's why that there is not any other reason. I'm going to send a message to your classmates because it's hello. We're ready. We are waiting for you. Ahí está. There we go. Remember that these classes are based on the minutes you are connected to the class, not on saying present or I'm here once class. Because it's very important, every minute you're connected is very, very important to us, okay? Because your attendance is based on that, because Zoom counts the minutes you are connected. Okay, now let's go with the attendance we have for this day. Let me check. No, today is not. Mm, mm. Hey, it's almost Father's Day. I guess it's Father's Day. Cool. Okay, Wednesday. Today is Wednesday. Okay, I'm going to start with the attendance. Ana Verónica Hernández Rodríguez. Blanca Isabel Tunaca de Rodríguez. No. Carlos Alberto Meléndez Rosales. Presente. Clelia Estela Flores Hernández. Presente. Eric Enrique Reyes Martínez. Presente. Eric Giovanni Jiménez Canizales. Presente, Eric José Reyes Molina. 
Present, Miss. Henry Adonai Torres Gómez. Present, Miss. Jacobo de Jesús Gómez Gómez. Present, Miss. Jenny Carolina Vázquez de Medrano. Present, Miss. Johnny Alexander Escobar Calderón. Present, Miss. Jonathan José Oliver Enríquez. Present, Miss. José Alfredo Hueso López. He's not here. I mean, Jocelyn Angelina Ramírez Melgar. Present, Miss. Sorry, me tengo que levantar un ratito. Ok. Julio César Aguillón Arevalo. Present. María Julia Ramos Olívar. Present, Miss. Mayra Patricia Artiga Vázquez. Is Mayra here? Ok. Oscar René Molina Calidonio, se acaba de levantar. Oseas Figueroa Cisneros. Present. Rafael Antonio Hernández Castillo. Rafael Antonio Martínez Navarrete. Ramiro Rafael Aguilar Díaz. Sandra Yanira Gómez Romero. Silvia Patricia Aceituno Méndez. Present, Miss. Verónica Elizabeth El Burgos Rivas. Present, Miss. Amado Javier Urrutia Rivera. Jacqueline Lisset García Miranda. No. Nope. Ok, perfect. Ok, we're going to continue with the book and also with the um, exercises we have on the platform, okay? Um, we're gonna go right now with the book and then we're gonna decide if we do the exercises on the platform because we are not in that uh, unit yet. We're not in unit number three, but we can do the exercises, it's okay. Okay, let's see here. It says, Will be better. Will be better is a grammar structure and expression used to express a strong advice or a suggestion, okay? Meaning a strong advice that it's really, really important you do this, but it's still an advice. It's not an obligation. So the structure we're gonna use to um, talk about will be better will be the following structure. Subject will be better and the infinitive form of a verb, okay? Infinitive meaning to and the verb. This is the infinitive, okay? So it will be better to let employees decide what, the, what processes to change. It will be better to let a manager take care of the situation. Other expressions we can use is, or alternatives, would you prefer, that means preferirías, would you prefer, wouldn't it be better to? This one, we can use it, and in, I mean, it's in a negative structure. And as you can see, it's a negative structure, but, we are still asking like, ¿Y no sería mejor tal cosa? That's what we're doing with that. Wouldn't it be better? Wouldn't it be better to speak English in all the classes rather than Spanish, right? Next yeah. one. <laughs> it will be good if, this one, sería bueno que, it will be good if, it will be good if we practice more English. Sería bueno si practicamos más inglés, yes? It will be good if we had a professional to complete the manual, okay? Mm -hmm. That's what we're doing. Let's continue here. In this part, we have some uh, statements, but they are not in the correct order, as you see here up there in the example number one. But what we need to do is reorder the statements based on what we just learned. So this one. 
Would you prefer to have a different schedule? Would you prefer to have, this is the infinitive, a different schedule? The only thing that is missing here that we can add it, wait a minute, it's a question mark, right? That was the only thing missing there. Now we're gonna work in number two, three, four, and five, reorganizing the words so the statements make sense. Do you get the activity we're gonna do in this moment? If you cannot talk or participate, you can use the chat always, okay? Is the activity clear or not? Yes, yes. Mr. Student. Okay, perfect. That's what I like. It's clear. Perfect. Thank Everything you. is clear. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. Let me change something here. Okay, let's go. I think we are ready. Let's go, everyone. Join the breakout rooms, please. Let's go, let's go to the breaker rooms, please. Eric, Johnny, Ramiro, aunque sea de Allendez, please. Hello, Blanca, welcome to the class. Ahí le envié una invitación, dos invitaciones creo que le mandé. La última es a la Breaker Room 2, para que pueda ahí participar con los classmates en una activity que están haciendo ellos ahí, que sería esta de acá. Uh -huh. Ah, ok. Construyendo oraciones. Yes, correct. That's what you're doing. Fui a Room 1, pero me lo volvió acá. A ah, la vaya, ahorita le ayudo. There you go.
Hello, Lisette. Welcome to the class. So your classmates are working on this activity, okay? So I'm gonna send you to a breakout room so you can participate, okay? Hello, Miss. Tengo problemas con el, con el inter. Oh my God, maybe, we, is it raining? Está. Híjole, a ver si me la va a dejar entrar a la sala, si sí veo que tiene bastante problema.
it would be a good good idea to have a training manual manual for chefs. Wouldn't it be better decide to let the manager? Okay, the last the next... one is incorrect. Remember that after would be better, we have the infinitive. ¿Se acuerdan que después del would be sería el infinitive? So, infinitive. which one? Uh, miss... The last one. Uh -huh. Wouldn't it be better? Espérame, teacher. La... Carlos, si querés compartirlo, porque Carlos tiene la edición. Wouldn't la imagen. it be better? Para que lo corrijas de una vez, Carlos. Wouldn't it be better? Pero, ¿qué creen que sería después de better? Wouldn't it be better? To let the manager decide. To let the manager decide. 